Welcome to our tutorial video for DJI Mavic 3M, where we will show you how to set up your aircraft for its first flight. Using the remote controller for the first time, the built-in battery of the remote controller is set to hibernation mode before shipment. Before using for the first time, connect the remote controller to the charger with the USB-C to USB-C cable, and charge the remote controller for about one minute to activate the battery. Activating the remote controller, Remove the control sticks from the storage slots on the remote controller and screw them in place. Press the power button once, then press again and hold for two seconds to power on or off the remote controller. Select a language after powering on the remote controller. Read terms of use and privacy policy. Connect the remote controller to the internet via Wi-Fi. Select the time zone, date, and time. Log in with your DJI account. Tap Activate to complete remote controller activation. Preparing the aircraft. DJI Mavic 3M comes with the RTK module that is already mounted to the top of the aircraft. Unfold the aircraft arms. Press the gimbal protector buckle to eject it. Remove the gimbal protector. Remove the gimbal protective foam pad. Detach the protective sticker from the aircraft. Attaching the propellers. The DJI Mavic 3M aircraft has AB monitors and AB propellers. Propeller A with a gray circle at its center should be mounted on motor A with a gray arc on its outer edge. Propeller B without any gray circle at its center should be mounted on motor B without a gray arc on its outer edge. Press the propeller down and rotate in direction marked on the propeller until it pops up and locks in place. Powering on, off. When using the battery for the first time, connect the charger to the port at the rear of the aircraft with USB-C to USB-C cable and charge until the battery level LEDs light up, which means that the battery has been successfully activated. The battery can also be activated by charging with the battery charging hub. Press the power button once then press again and hold for two seconds to power on or off the aircraft. Activating the aircraft and RTK module. Launch DJI Pilot 2. An activation page will automatically pop up in the app. Follow the app's instructions to activate the aircraft and the RTK module. Using the RTK function, enter the RTK settings interface, enable RTK positioning, and set the RTK service type to Custom Network RTK. Fill in the information for the NTRIP host, port, user, password, and mount point. Or set the RTK service type to DRTK2 Mobile Station and connect to the mobile station. When the status bar shows RTK connected, RTK data in use, and the aircraft positioning is shown as fix, it indicates that the aircraft has obtained and used differential positioning data. Then, you can start your flight mission. Preparing for flight. Launch DJI Pilot 2. Conduct the pre-flight check based on the app's instructions before takeoff. Basic flight operations. Maintain a safe distance of at least five meters from the aircraft. and operate the aircraft by facing its rear. Start the motor by pushing left and right control sticks to the inner or outer bottom corners. When the propellers start to rotate, gently push the left control stick up to manually take off the aircraft. The left control stick is used for adjusting the flight altitude and nose direction. The right control stick is to control the aircraft to fly forward backward, and to the left and right. Press the flight pause button on the remote controller once to make the aircraft brake and hover. Press and hold the RTH button and the aircraft will return to the home point at the preset RTH mode. Return to home can be set to optimal or preset in the app. When the lighting is sufficient and the environment is suitable for vision systems, the aircraft will automatically plan the best RTH path. 
On the video transmission screen, you can view current flight altitude, speed, and other parameters. During flight, keep the RC antennas facing the drone for optimal transmission. Taking photos and videos. Locate the focus shutter button on the top right corner of the remote controller. Press halfway down on the button to autofocus, and press all the way down to take a photo. The record button is on the top left corner of the remote controller. Press to start recording, and press again to stop. You can also adjust the tilt of the gimbal by toggling the gimbal dial on the left side of the remote controller. On the video transmission screen, double tap the target point to make the camera quickly aim at the target. Enter the camera settings in the app to adjust parameters and select whether to save photos, videos from one or more cameras. After capturing, tap the playback icon to view and download photos or videos. Using the multispectral camera, tap on the MS icon on the left of the screen to quickly switch to the multispectral camera view. Tap to set vegetation index to NDVI, GNDVI, or NDRE. You can view the vegetation index image in real time on the video transmission screen. Reasonable adjustment of the value range based on scenario needs can quickly identify the target. Tap the SPS icon. Both the vegetation index and visible light camera views can be displayed side by side. Tap the storage icon to select multispectral MS. When capturing a photo or video, the photo or video from RGB and multispectral cameras will be stored simultaneously to the micro SD card. DJI Mavic 3M also supports displaying monochrome multispectral imaging. Tap to set multispectral camera to green, red, red edge, or near infrared. The camera parameters and gain value can be adjusted under the camera parameter setting in the app. After capturing, tap the playback icon to view and download photos or videos. Powering off and storage. Power off the aircraft. Remove the propellers. Attach the gimbal protector. Turn over the aircraft. Snap the raised parts of the gimbal protector into the positioning holes on the aircraft nose. Gently press down the buckle to insert it into the aircraft's lower cover. Fold the aircraft arms. Power off the remote controller. Fold the remote controller antennas. Place the aircraft, remote controller, and propellers into the carrying case. The carrying case has storage slots for the intelligent flight batteries, charger, battery charging hub, RTK module, and speaker. Larger storage for your daily operational needs. Thank you for watching.